Welcome to FX. How oh, hope everyone had an awesome weekend. Hey Anna, I invented a new word today. What's that? Plagiarism. Haha, -ha, that was funny. Wanna know what else is funny? What? Ethan on weather. Oh, is he? Welcome to weather. Uh, today it is 62 right now. As you can see, mostly cloudy feels like 62. It's great. Um, nothing in sight here, so it's going to be a clear day, clear skies, everything you can uh, hope for. And uh, 67 is the high today. Um, tonight it's going to get down to 50s, mid 50s, pretty chilly. Make sure you have those blankets. And um, going to warm up again tomorrow to the mid 70s. Uh, maybe some thunderstorms on Wednesday. So uh, with that, we'll send it over to news. Hey guys, welcome to news. We got some announcements today, so let's get started. Uh, the counseling office will begin arranging program visits to KCTC on September 23rd. If you are a sophomore or junior interested in learning more about a specific program, you are encouraged to stop in the counseling office to learn more about to schedule a visit. If you're in need of immediate tutoring, the Academic Success Center will be open after school till 3.30 p.m. in the Media Center on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays starting September 24th. Debate team will be having a meeting every, every room, <laughs> room 105 every Monday and Friday. Contact Akansha Da or Annabelle Varghese if you have questions. If you like talking about politics or want to learn more and listen to different perspectives on issues, join us at Pace Club in Mr. Riley's room on Mondays. Hey, what's your favorite chicken sandwich? I have to go with Chick-fil-A. I think that's the best. That's a good one. So uh, let's send it to a video on chicken sandwiches. years, chicken sandwiches have been a burning topic in the halls of FHC. Uh, who do you think has the best chicken sandwich? A uh, Wendy's chicken sandwich? I think the school lunch does actually. It's from Chick-fil-A. McDonald's? We couldn't find the right answer, so we decided to roam the halls and find some expert analysis to decide who has the best chicken sandwich. So what's your favorite chicken sandwich? My favorite chicken sandwich, I would have to say the spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Why is that your favorite chicken sandwich? Good chicken, good sauce, well constructed, can't go wrong. So what's your favorite chicken sandwich? That's easy, Burger King classic chicken sandwich, of course. Why is that your favorite? I've been eating uh, since about four years old, I think my, one of my earliest memories was going to Burger King and getting the chicken sandwich and I haven't looked back. I know there's a lot of good ones out there. The Burger King classic chicken sandwich, you can't beat it, I'm sorry. One on one, I'm undefeated, never lost. What's your favorite chicken sandwich? Popeye's chicken sandwich. Now what makes Popeye's your favorite? I don't know, but their chicken sandwich is the bomb.com. Why? Why is it that we can't find a winner for the chicken sandwich? Why can't we find the best? Even through all this expertise, expert analysis, interviews, there's still no number one chicken sandwich. So now, FHC, I leave it up for you. Who has the best chicken Sammy? Hi, welcome to sports. Um, first of all, we have some scores for you. So the boys varsity football won 34 to seven, and the girls swim and dive got first out of five teams. All right, state cut made by Jessica Doyle in the 100 yard butterfly this weekend. Congrats, girl. Tennis got one out of four teams this weekend. Oh. Boys cross country got six this weekend out of 11 teams. And Gabe Carlson got third place in his division. Go, Gabe, go. Girls cross country got fifth place out of 10 teams in their division. Nice, ladies. Now we got some volleyball highlights for you. All right, first off, we have Morgan Tilton setting up for Sarah for the kill. Next, we have Brooklyn Cannon with the tip catching FHN slacking. Tatum Otowski smashing the ball, and Northern can't handle the smoke. Next up, we have 
Katie Costello setting it up to Tatum again for the kill. For the, next up, we have Brookie Connor and Sarah Dunn for the ball. All right, so um, the girls won um, against Forest Hills Northern. Good job, ladies. We also have some ho soccer highlights for you. So seniors Danny and Mitch get hyped for the pregame. Sammy s shoots by the gap and scores the first goal. Sammy smacks it into the net for a free kick. Sammy hits free kick number two to complete the hat trick. Then Micah scores Central's final goal. And the boys celebrate after the win with a nice warm from Roderick. So that's all we have here on sports, but we have some guests over on host, so let's go over there. Before we get to the improvisation guests, Ian, it's pronounced Donnie, not Danny. <laughs> all right. Hello, improv guests. Hello. Hello. What is improv, and what can someone expect at an improv show if they've never been before? Um, improv is basically a form of comedy where you kind of just make up anything you want on the spot, and um, what people can expect from like this year's show is just like, if you come to the show before, it's going to be a little bit more structured, and it's going to be really, really funny to watch. So how long have you guys been practicing for this? Um, about two months, actually. Two months? All right. Um, when and where is it? It is at the Fine Arts Center this year, not the school auditorium. It's on September uh, 28th, which is this Saturday at 7.33 p.m. 7.33? Yeah. Exactly. No. <laughs> not a minute later? No. 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 Why 7.33? because 7.30 was a little too normal for us. <laughs> well, that's good enough reason for me to go. Me too. All right, well, with that, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.